James Kaufman, World News Report today, August 2nd, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the potential for cyclone number four. Very strange because they did not name it an Invest uh, 9596L, but they've called it our potential tropical cyclone number four. 30 mile per hour sustained winds, a very high central pressure at 1,012 millibars, moving west northwest at 16 miles an hour. To me, that takes it right into the Gulf of Mexico here. So they are counting on a front that's coming through the U.S. to, well, turn this thing around and take it out to the Atlantic, but perhaps only after it makes landfall in Florida on the Gulf Coast and then exits on the Atlantic Coast. More problems for Florida. Taking a look at our Pacific, we have a full-fledged hurricane. Colota. We also have a tropical disturbance here with a 90% chance of formation. And this disturbance looks like it's turned around and headed towards the other two with a 30% chance of formation. This moisture may be being sucked into Colata. And even the moisture from this strong disturbance with a 90% chance of formation may join Kalata with all of its moisture and strength. Currently, Kalata is a Category 1 hurricane with sustained winds of 80 miles per hour, a minimum central pressure of 983 millibars, and that's going to be headed west-northwest at 14 miles an hour. Now, it looks like it would miss... Hawaii, which is on the other side of this 20 north latitude, uh, by some distance if it goes that far. Now we're going to run this through on AI and see where AI takes this, but currently the National Weather Service and the National Hurricane Center have both issued warnings for the Key West area and parts of Gulf Coast, Florida, as they expect this storm to turn around, head over Florida and back into the Atlantic. Here is the National Hurricane Center's potential tropical cyclone for path. You can see that it becomes a tropical storm after it clears the keys and gets into the warmer waters of the Gulf. Looks like it tries to cross over Florida and might even end up in Georgia and off the coast of South Carolina and work its way up the coast of North Carolina. This is the official track. You can see Friday, Saturday, Sunday moving very quickly. Wind only at 30 miles per hour. Movement west-northwest at 16 miles per hour. Again, we are expecting a front, which I will show y'all just next. And the pressure is 112 millibars and dropping. So this will strengthen for sure. The question is, is will it be a big deal or will it just bring rain to your area in Florida, Georgia, and perhaps even South and North Carolina? All right, here we have the official spaghetti models that have been released. There's quite a few of them and all of them take it right over Cuba where it currently is. Uh, strengthens the storm and most of the models have a landfall near Tampa crossing over Florida into the Atlantic once again. We're going to have to keep an eye on this when it can make a second impact on the East Coast. Remember, always keep your tank filled, always keep extra water. The two most important things as you will find. And before we watch what AI is going to do with this storm, I wanted to show you all how warm the water temperatures are where it's headed. 89 to 90 degrees as you get closer to the shore. So those are the hottest temperatures in the Caribbean or Gulf, right there off the coast of Tampa. 
Headed over to windy.com for a quick AI simulation. You can see possible tropical cyclone number four here in the Bahamas and really centrally on top of Cuba. They have it heading again on most models into the Gulf and turning around going across Florida and back into the Atlantic. That is not what's happening with this AI model. We can also see Colato over here. Definitely a hurricane. Looks like it's going to be headed out to sea. Let's put this in motion so y'all can see what happens to possible tropical storm number four. Instead of being named, which is very strange to say the least. Now, with Wendy's AI. It does not bring it into the Gulf of Mexico. It really brings it straight up Florida and the Florida coast. And I guess the coastlines of Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, and then, well, I will say it looks like Florida gets hit for quite some time. This is Monday. And it looks like it makes it back into the Atlantic by Tuesday, perhaps. So y'all get ready for several days of rain in Florida. And I want you to also notice this huge storm that has formed. Uh, this was the original Hurricane uh, Colata. And this storm has formed during the last three or four days while we were doing our AI simulation. Now, anytime y'all get worried about what's going on here, all you need to do is go to the southern hemisphere of our world and you will find out that we have it very well. We have winds up to 200 miles per hour in Antarctica and there are storms literally everywhere now with that said believe it or not 90 percent of the population lives at latitude 30 north or higher that's of the whole globe so 90 percent of the folks live in the northern hemisphere god bless you and yours folks stay prepared it's not too late at all go fill your gas tank up right now there won't be any gas working Go get some extra water. It might all already be gone. But trust me, you will need it if one of these storms impacts you. Please share, subscribe. Always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World. God bless you all.